Hungary is holding parliamentary elections and a referendum on the 3rd of April. The 8.2 million Hungarians who can vote will decide on the 199 seats up for grabs in the Hungarian parliament. 106 of the seats are decided by single-member constituencies. The remaining 93 are decided proportionally by votes from the national lists. There are almost half a million Hungarian citizens living outside the country eligible to vote by post, but only for the national list. The head of each national list are the candidates for Prime Minister. For the Fidesz KDNP alliance, that's Viktor Orban, who is seeking a fifth term in office. For the opposition alliance, it's Peter Markize, mayor of Hodmezo Vesahali, who won the first primaries in Hungary. The opposition alliance is made up of six parties, who have joined forces to create a single national list in the hope of beating Fidesz. Left-wing parties, Liberals, Greens and the Conservative Party Jobbik, which was formerly far-right, held primaries last autumn. These parties from across the vast political spectrum have never before been able to cooperate at this level for a national election, but they've been forced to this time due to Hungary's electoral system. Two smaller parties, a joke party and a far-right anti-vax party, are close to the 5% threshold rate. If they receive fewer votes than that, they won't win any of the 93 seats. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the key issue of the campaign became Hungary's response to the war in its eastern neighbour. Orban, who has long been President Vladimir Putin's friend and ally within the EU, is promoting himself as a protector of peace and is accusing the opposition of wanting to drag Hungary into the conflict. Ukraine's president and some other Central Eastern politicians have criticised Orban for not taking as strong a stance against the Russian invasion as others in the region. De mindent elveszíthetünk. Ebből a háborúból ki kell maradnunk. Egyetlen magyar sem kerülhet az ukrán ülő és az orosz pörő közé. Elfogadhatatlan, hogy 33 évvel a győztes rendszerváltás után ismét vesztesek lettünk a saját hazánkba. Ismét a rossz oldalra sodortak minket. Most of the polls suggest that Fidesz will scrape a victory in the election, but there's another battle that Fidesz wants to win on the night, the so-called child protection referendum. Orban claims the referendum is necessary due to an attack from Brussels on Hungary's law designed to protect children. Critics of the amendment claim that it stigmatizes members of the LGBTQI community. Hungarian law says that at least half of those eligible to vote need to cast valid ballots in order for the referendum to be considered legitimate.